Finally, after so long of waiting. Okay, so yeah, it's me for the crossword again. I can hear another episode of Nazi P. Or I still have the present of, of the special person. I just remember the trunk cutter. But also, we're gonna have to, we're gonna try and finish the iron farm so we get up and running. Also, I was wondering where my steak was. It was in this chest this whole time. I somehow just forgot. I just put it in there. Somehow. I. Oh, it's me, those guys. One of them dying. If you missed the last episode, we encountered a raid in our own, in our own iron farm of all places. First off, we need deep slate. Man, it's been a while since I've been here. The old cave. Actually, when was the last time I've been here? Like, when was it, like a, a couple of episodes ago? Man, I guess I just forgot about this. What was here again? Like some kind of giant mine shaft, right? Yeah, giant. Yeah, the, that same giant mine shaft. I forgot about this place. Literally, yeah. The skeleton, the skeleton riding creepers. I remember these, yeah. Got to know how to deactivate them. Yeah, it's been, wow, it's been a while, hasn't it? And in fact, these these minecart systems are still up available, so I could use this place to my advantage. Work a farm with this. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be a room with your- Yes, here it is. The room with the room portal. I almost forgot this room existed. This one is the case of Blue Obsidian. Which is odd because, well, what portal is made out of Blue Obsidian? I thought it'd be normal Obsidian. Yet again, this world has a literal castle in a void, so I shouldn't have to question that. So far, we only got like two, two stacks of cobble deep sleep. That should hopefully be enough. That should hopefully be enough, yeah. Hopefully enough. Oh, sorry, I forgot we, we have to do the event thing, so let's get them out to the awards. Oh, I just realized, yes, we're, we're second on, on scrap. Netherite scrap. So we, may, so we may be able to upgrade to netherite tools. Durasteel is cool or not? Well, actually, wait, should I get netherite or should I stick with Durasteel? That is a good question. I'm trying to just ponder my mind for a while. Interesting. Alright. Well, I'm going to put the platform and then we'll see what happens. I need the stone cutter as well. I think we finally finished with the iron farm. Alright. Took a while, but, finally, but I think we can actually get it running now. Now, here's another circuit at the area. Gonna hold a double funnel to thing, just in case one fills up, the other can fill up as well. Alright. I think I finally got the lava in place. Yeah, so that's gonna burn the iron golf. The sides do not burn, by the way. I check. And so don't, and so do the chest. They don't burn my proof. So. To my understanding, the, iron, the signs are in place. I might have made a, a few, a few extra signs. But yeah, the waterfall flows the, the iron golems into there, follow them down into this area, and down they go into, into the killing chamber. The only thing left to do now is back with the system. So once I destroy these dirt blocks, then it will start working. To my understanding. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, 
There we go. Okay, it's okay. I got rid of the dirt blocks. The lush dirt blocks, actually, mind you. And I should start working, I think. And it's working. Oh my gosh, our first iron golem. You see that? Hold on. You saw that, right? Hold on. It does work. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Our first batch of iron from the iron farm. It actually works. Our iron farm works. We just have to give it a bit of time. That's about it. Okay. Alright. So yeah, it does work. Slowly but surely, it does work. I think it works better at night time. I think that's when their, their vision is able to be seen. Something like Actually, I actually want to see this in action at night, actually. Hold on. <laughs> I think it worked better if I got rid of the blocks on top, though, because I have noticed that, yeah, could, yeah, cause I have noticed that the, that the blocks on top do sometimes block the villager's vision of the zombies. Means that they have to stand on that one block in order to see the, in order to see the zombie. And that's it. Come on, but it does work. Oh, look, our second iron golem. Alright. The water mainstream pushes the iron golems down into the funnel. And it drops them in the lava. All right. I actually, want to see this. Do, do the villagers are the villagers able to sleep yet? Yeah. The requirement is that they're able, the sense they're able to sleep. That's that's how the bomb works. Oh, they don't. Oh, they're trying to sleep, but it comes getting scared by the zombies. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They are. See, they are trying to they are trying to go to sleep, but it comes getting scared of the zombies. That's more iron is produced. All right. So I just let this run for a bit, and that's about it. Yeah. My only concern is that is that I have to light this area up now. But yeah, not, monsters can still spawn over here. There we go. That should be a pretty. That should be pretty much lit up for the most part. And yes, the iron farm is does also work better during daytime as well. I just I just haven't been, been paying close attention to it. All right. So every time we log out, we just let this run, and that's about it. With that said, I think this is a good place to end up to end of this session of Mountains of Beauty. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We finally got the Iron Farm going. That's a huge accomplishment. After so long waiting for the Switch Pretty to, to to work, we finally got the Iron Farm going. So yeah, they can subscribe for more stuff like this. We're talking about less stuff in the meantime, and yeah, hopefully more farms to come. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye for now.